Well, hello, my friends. Uh, here's one that I had uh, talked about doing, and I just finally got uh, myself together to do it, is uh, a review of one of my favorite castings from different manufacturers, but most of them, most of them are the same. So uh, this is a beautiful 1964 Ford Thunderbolt, which is a Ford Fairlane from 1964 that's been specially modified by the factory with uh, lightweight body panels, uh, the largest engine available at the time, and one of the most powerful engines, the 427 single overhead cam engine. Uh, well, no, was this this? No, just the 427, not the single overhead cam. 427 engine. Uh, so these were real beasts, specially built for drag racing. Uh, I've shown these before. I love them. This is the first one I ever got, and this is an Earl um, American Muscle. And if you look there, I want you to take a look at this base because this is going to look very familiar. There are no visible screws or vivets. Uh, as I recall, I believe you have to pry up the gas tank to get at one of them. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I've never taken these cars apart. Luckily, I've never had to. These are among the best. The, uh, the opening trunk with a racing fuel cell in the back, or gas tank, closes nicely. When closed, it's hardly noticeable that it has lines. The details on the side, the wheels, the tires. It's a plastic chassis, but well detailed, with real rider or rubber wheels and authentic looking wheels. Chrome grill, inserted lens lights, inserted lens taillights, chrome bumper and rear fascia. Uh, of course, opening hood with a nicely detailed uh, dual ram air. Here, tube, there, there, air cleaner. So, uh, of course, I've shown this one. This is the first one I got. And I was very excited uh, when I learned that uh, Johnny Lightning's casting will go with the red and gold one. And I have both versions from, this is very recent, uh, Johnny Lightning Muscle Cars USA, Tasca Ford, one of 3508. Uh, this is not that old one, let's see. 2021 release one there we go so release one car number five i guess and we have two versions and of course i've shown the johnny lightning castings off because johnny lightning is owned by round two corporation And uh, they make uh, Auto World as well as Johnny Lightning and Racing Champions, Racing Champions Mint. So you can see that this has the inserted grill and headlights and opening hood and very nice details. Authentic looking wheels and tires. Uh, something got jammed up here. Hold on there. Uh, Again, this is just absolutely stunning. Hold on just a second. All right. Okay. That one there. And, of course, the white Johnny Lightning should be exactly the same. Uh, so, again... Now, it looks like the Johnny Lightnings, the um, trunks don't open. So they did make a significant change, but to me it's a minor detail. But it's obviously the same casting. You can see the casting line, so this is plastic, this is metal, but so much now here you can see the gas tank molded and you can see the rivet you can see the front guard molded here in metal with a rivet so as i said i believe you pop that off that off 
and you should find rivets. So these are uh, Johnny Lightning and uh, This is Racing Champions. I remember showing this off when I got this. I thought that was special enough. And again, this is closer to the original, uh, I believe. Yeah, you can read Ertl right there. It is obviously the same chassis, plastic, metal, and racing champions. The trunk opens, but you can easily see that these are the same casting. And recently, I bought a few more. Um, the Route 66, which I believe is a Kmart, not Walmart, exclusive from a while back. Uh, blue light. Route 66 collectibles. If you pause and look, there's a list of other models from this series. So that is very interesting. This will be, uh, this is a chrome finish. This one I'm not sure I'm going to open up, but I'm going to open up because I, I know that that's the same casting as these. Um, it's the same base, basically, as that one. Same packaging, just, uh, just a card. And this one is a chrome series. So I'm going to hold on to that one carded, but I have these others, and I want to see how close they are. So this, so here we have a 100 cent Hot Wheels, uh, number three of four. That says 65 Mustang there, which is a mistake, obviously. Uh, Ford Series. Oh, so is this an error? Mm. So the Ford GT, custom 50s Ford Wagon, 65 Mustang and Purple Passion are listed here. Um, hmm. Now, you can see that this is not the same casting. And let's see. Here's another one. Hot Wheels, uh, Metal Collection, Wheel Riders, Limited Edition, Ford Thunderbolt. And again, I can see that this is not the same casting as that. All right, there's a lot of really cool information. Now, there is a co there is a uh, copyright year of 2005 on this, so I'm going to pause the camera so I can cut this package open. Okay, here is the Real Riders Hot Wheels one. Uh, this is not 100%, but so this has a chrome plastic chassis. It has Real wide Rider tires and wheels, really nice rims and tires. Uh, Tampo taillights nicely, the um, bumper and rear valve, uh, rear decorative panel are part of the chrome chassis. The grill headlights are part of that. There is no inserts or Tempo details. There's some very nice Russ Davis Ford Thunderbolt gas Ronda graphics on the side. I love that they put the decals in the window like you'd see for real at the drug, uh, drag strip. This is a really cool model. Not quite as good as this one, but cool in its own right. I mean, it's cool because it's a, a rare Hot Wheels, I guess, uh, but it's very cool because it's a Thunderbolt. And, you know, I'll tell you honestly, I think I, I like the, uh, <laughs> the tires on the Hot Wheels better, but the uh, Earl American, the thinner slicks, would have been more appropriate for the actual time these cars... So, this one I'm going to hold on to, not because it's rare, it's an error, but I don't need them all open, and I already know that it doesn't have um, the level of details that these do. I know this one does have the level of details that those do, but this is chrome, and just to keep it cleaner for now, I'm going to keep it in there until I uh, get my die cast room fixed up and cleaned up and get a different type of display where I can have all of my Thunderbolts on one shelf, all of my Cobras 
one another, you know, that type of thing. So, um, I really thought these were cool. I hope you uh, enjoyed seeing these. Um, these are amazing castings. I love to see them brought out. Uh, the Hot Wheels casting is not related to this, uh, American, uh, Ertl American Muscle, but round two has control of Ertl American Muscle castings and is reusing them in uh, Johnny Lightning. Uh, and uh, racing champions. Um, so uh, I, you know, I just think this is wild. You can see the common chassis on these. Uh, and uh, this color was this sort of like I want to call it not purple, not yeah, this color you'll see is a common theme. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you soon.